Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here, your source for gaming tech, emulation, and open source news. Let's get started. Alright, to kick things off, we're talking about PlayStation 4 emulation with FPPS4. And it turns out that FPPS4 is rendering Red Dead Redemption. The game is booting, the intro screen is rendering, but it's not playable just yet. And on top of that, Red Dead Redemption is also rendering an RPCSX, another PS4 emulator. In my opinion, this is a massive step forward for two different PS4 emulators. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Moving on, and we're quickly talking about a Linux distribution, an amazing Linux distribution, and that's Pop! OS. And it turns out that it's Pop! OS's sixth birthday, so happy birthday, Pop! OS. If you haven't checked out Pop! OS and you're into Linux, you may want to give it a try. Next up here, we're still talking about Linux, and this time about Ubuntu. And it appears that Ubuntu 24.04, which is called Noble Numbat, Numbat, I'm not quite sure how to say that one. Let me know how to say it in the comments below. Anyways, here it's releasing in April of 2024. It's the next LTS. Unfortunately, at this point in time, we don't know the exact specifics of this operating system. For example, what Linux kernel it's going to use. But at the same time here, we'll know in time. Next up here, we're talking about something that I've got absolutely no use for. And I don't think a lot of people will, but maybe some people might, or maybe some people are interested in it. It's called Open Motet. Motet. Again, let me know in the comments below. If you wanted to configure your ROMs, your N64 ROMs, in terms of lockout security, well, you can use this application. This is free, it's open source, and I'll drop a link to it in the description below. And right on the GitHub, it says change your CIC and watch the DRM attack you. Next up here, we're talking about a brand new puzzle platformer for the NES. It's called The Meeting and a Kickstarter has just appeared online for it. The game itself looks pretty interesting and there is a demo available if you wanted to check it out yourself. I'll drop a link to it in the description below. On top of that, in terms of money here, it's gonna be about 10 bucks for the ROM based on the tiers. And it is going to be coming out for the Switch. If you wanted it on the Switch, it's gonna set you back 20 bucks. At the time of filming, there's over 170 backers. This thing has already almost met its goal, and there's still 29 days left to go. And last up here, we're talking about an indie game. It's called 99 Fidas. I think that's how you pronounce it. Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, it's a beat-em-up that was released back in 2016 on PC, on Steam specifically and now it's being released on Sega Genesis. I am very curious to see how this is gonna carry over to the Mega Drive and Sega Genesis. I don't know release date, I don't know pricing, but as soon as I know more, you'll know more. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. We talked about a bunch today. Let me know your thoughts about absolutely any of it in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state.